Fear on the job. An employee at a drive through convenience store no longer feels safe after an aggravated robbery. Channel 5's Monica De Anda tells us the store was robbed even though it had heavy security. Honestly, it makes me feel unsafe because it's not the same coming to work now. The trust is gone. This woman has worked at Coco Bongo drive through for almost four years. She says this is the first time something like this has happened. The police report says two males entered this business a few nights ago. They pointed a gun at an employee, tied her hands with zip ties, and forcefully removed a gold chain from her neck. She was told to empty the cash register. The fear has now spread to others. This employee admits she is scared. We can't look at the customers the same anymore because we don't know that person's intentions. It's scary. I've worked till 12, 1 a.m., and then we're by ourselves. The shift changes, so she doesn't always work at night. It's not the same coming to work the night shift anymore because I don't feel like I used to. I'm worried a person might come up in their car and want to do the same to me, take out a gun. Channel 5 News spoke to an Alamo police officer. He says businesses that operate during the night should have surveillance cameras and make sure their business is well lit. But when it comes to your business, your safety, the safety of your employees, um, we tend to think that there's no limit when it comes to cost on that. Jacob Garcia recommends you comply if a criminal confronts you. It's safer and easier if you give them what they're asking for, you know, they're, whatever they're trying to take, than losing your life. The owner of Coco Bongo drive through says she lost a lot of money that night. She adds the victim quit after the robbery. The eight security cameras the owners installed here helped police identify the suspects. Juan Manuel Mejia Far was arrested and charged with aggravated robbery. A warrant was issued for Julian Andres Solis for aggravated robbery, a first degree felony. Anyone with information is urged to call McAllen Crime Stoppers at 956 687 8477. Monica De Anda, Channel 5 News, McAllen.